In 2012, a fire erupted at a home right here on Oak Street in Rossford. 911 calls were made and crews were dispatched to Oak Street in Toledo. Because of a glitch in the 911 system, the call initially went to Lucas County rather than Wood County. By the time help had arrived, this home was destroyed and the dog inside had died. Seven years later, issues still exist with the 911 system. 911, what is your emergency? My opinion is this, it is a big problem. Um, it's not something that we aren't able to, to handle, but it adds seconds and sometimes seconds matter. Is that a house or an apartment that you're at? The problem is that wireless 911 calls are routed by the nearest cell tower location, not the caller's location. It is an issue acknowledged by the FCC, which opened a notice of inquiry in March to search for answers. A final solution is expected to be years away. As part of that inquiry, the FCC released a map showing a series of black dots indicating misrouted 911 calls. The dots are plentiful in Ohio and Michigan. A majority of the calls we get are going to the right place. And that's the thing I think we want to stress in this, I, I would think you'd want to stress in this, is that a majority of the calls do go to the right place. It's that minority of calls that are on a fringe near, near a county line that's going to cause the, uh, cause the issue. But there will always be boundaries. In Lucas County, dispatchers sometimes get calls from someone in Michigan because the call gets pinged off the nearest cell tower in Toledo. The call must then be dispatched back to Michigan, costing valuable seconds. To demonstrate the issue, Mitchell dialed 911, and on Webster's screen, it indicated the caller was in the 100 block of 23rd Street, several blocks away from the dispatch center. You're not always going to get an exact location. People assume that we can find them, that we know exactly where they're at by their cell phone, but unfortunately that's just not the case. Partly because of the 2012 issue, dispatchers in Bowling Green always answer calls by saying, Wood County 911. Dispatchers then ask for your location, nature of the problem, and a callback number. Additional problems can result if the caller cannot communicate either because of injury or an imminent threat. The dispatcher receives X and Y coordinates from the phone company, but the accuracy is dependent upon the carrier and whether the caller is inside or outside. The coordinates also will not give vertical location, meaning a dorm or apartment would be challenging for rescuers. Apartment building, the, it, there's no way. We, there's no way we're gonna find somebody in an apartment building using a cell phone. Um, we might get the building, but then you still don't know what apartment number they're calling from. For Mitchell, the concern is big enough that she keeps a landline at home. So I have small children at home, and I know that if I have a landline, that it is set up so that it goes to the correct public safety answering point in, a, in an emergency if they needed that. Um, I don't want them to depend on my small child being able to tell them where they're at. But officials in Lucas County and Wood County want people to have confidence in the system. Technology is improving and dispatchers, honestly, are just really good at their jobs. Greg Bonfiglio, who does the dispatch mapping for Lucas County, runs tests daily. I don't have too many concerns. I'm a, I'm a believer in the system. The system works. Every time I've tested it, it's, it's accurate. 